And U.S. President Biden visits Europe with more sanctions for Russia. Welcome back to viewers. President Fatah Sisi conducted an inspection visit at dawn on Thursday to the headquarters of the police academy, where he was received by Minister of Interior Mahmoud Taufi. Presidential spokesperson Ambassador Bassem Rodi uh, said that President Sisi's visit came within the network and framework of his keenness to follow up the system of preparing and training students of the police college. President Sisi was briefed on the electronic system for students, evaluating in various fields to which periodic follow-up and continuous evaluation is carried out besides the outstanding level they have reached both physically and skillfully. The president inspected the college uh, Olympic uh, swimming pool and watched students performing the leap of confidence. President Sisi also visited the combat training field complex where college students are trained on intrusion and tactical combat and President Sisi also watched a president on the various training fields in the complex. The head of state com concluded the tour by uh, the complex of viewing a practical shooting treatment statement. Meanwhile, President uh, Sisi visited the club and listened to a detailed explanation of the types of the purebred Arabian horses affiliated to the Academy Cavalry. The President conducted an open dialogue with students of Police Academy on the most prominent issues and developments in the international arena and efforts exerted through a series of major projects. During the dialogue, President Sisi pointed to crises on the international level and their repercussions on the Egyptian economy. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli inaugurated on Thursday Ahlan Ramadan exhibition, which aims at providing basic commodities to citizens who with reasonable prices for the month of Ramadan. During the tour, Madbouli listened to reviews on the exhibition various departments. He started uh, that President Sisi directed to continue supporting the citizens even after Ramadan due to Ukraine crisis. In a press conference following the inauguration, Madbouli reiterated that the state's budget has been revised after the Ukraine crisis to face expected repercussions. The Prime Minister said he has strategic reserves which secure the need of citizens and a long-term plan to deal with the international situation. He added, we have enough reserves of basic commodities to bear the burden of local markets. Madbouli pointed out that currently Egypt is discussing with the International Monetary Fund a new program to maintain Egyptian growth stability. Madbouli asserted that the agreement with the International Monetary Fund might include a funding component that Egypt requires when needed. Madbouli added that Egypt's reform program supported Egypt in facing international challenges as international institutions praised the Egyptian economy. Under the umbrella of the Decent Life Initiative, the Waslat al Khair convoy kicks off in all Egyptian governorates and distributes one million boxes of food commodities for the most needy families across the nation, including villages of Upper Egypt. President Afatah Sisi launched the Decent Life Initiative that includes three stages targeting 57 million people in villages in most in needed di uh, directorates. Uh, the initiative aims to achieve the most important goals of sustainable development. Ministry of Interior said on Monday that it will continue its daily campaigns to following up prices of strategic commodities and monitoring cases of selling goods at higher than official prices. The ministry added that it succeeded to capture 178 catering cases during the past 24 hours. In the context of blocking goods, it reiterated that 1,439 tons of food commodities, 108 tons of food commodities and 13 200 food oil packages were seized. Foreign Minister Samih Shukri received a phone call from his Ukrainian counterpart Kuliba on Thursday during the phone talk. Uh, 
Chokri asserted that the importance of stopping bloodshed of the military conflict and exerting efforts to reach a peace settlement for the crisis. Chokri stressed Egypt's concern to achieve this target and pointed out to outcomes of the emergency meeting held by the Arab League tackling the Russian-Ukrainian issue. For his part, Kuliba reviewed the latest developments at both the humanitarian and field levels, as well as the path of current negotiations. West nations will warn Russian President Vladimir Putin on Thursday that his country will pay uh, costs for invading Ukraine.